Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts quick tip screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own textures to use with the texturizer effect. I'll just quickly review the texturizer by going up to the effect menu to texture texturizer. Over here on the left of this giant panel is the preview and you can choose any magnification from this pop-up menu. In the middle here you have access to all of the other textures that are under the Photoshop textures menu so if you were to change your mind for any reason, you could access those all here. I'm just going to concentrate on the texturizer, so I'll hide this section. Here we have the texturizer drop down menu, and again you can get to any of the other texture effects from here. And in the texturizer section, you have a choice of four different textures. The scaling has to do with how big the texture is relative to your object, and the relief has to do with the height of the texture based on the light source that you choose from this drop down menu here. At this point, the texture is fully editable, so I'm going to open my Appearance panel and click Texturizer to change it. On the right here is a small button that lets you load your own texture. So I'm going to choose that, and I have a couple of PSD documents, Photoshop documents, that are grayscale. And that's all you need to make your own texture, is a grayscale Photoshop document. I actually borrowed these from Photoshop itself, so these are already seamless pattern tiles. So I'll just choose one, and now as with any texture, I can adjust the scaling, the relief, and the lighting. So again, I go to Load Texture, and I'll choose the other one this time. And I can also choose to invert the texture, meaning that the dark values in the Photoshop document are light, and the lights are dark, and so on. And whatever texture I might have loaded before is now available in the drop-down menu. Now if you don't want to use Photoshop, or if you don't want to leave Illustrator, and really, why would you? You can create your own Photoshop texture directly from Illustrator. So I'm going to open my Swatches panel, where I have some pattern swatches that I've saved from the Pattern Swatches library. Normally, when working with patterns, you just fill shapes with them, but if you drag out a swatch onto the artboard, you get a single pattern tile. And every pattern has a square associated with it, which is the bounding box of the repeating pattern. I'm going to select that box with my direct selection arrow, then go up to the Object menu, to Artboards, Convert to Artboards. And that will turn that square into an artboard. So now I'll view it in preview mode again, and you can see that that green square has disappeared, and it is now an artboard. I'll open the Artboards panel, and now you can see that we have two artboards, the original one, and this smaller one, which is called Artboard 2. Now I'm going to save this as a grayscale PSD. And to do that, I'll go up to the File menu to Export, and then choose Photoshop PSD as the format. I'm going to click Use Artboards, and in the Range field I'm going to select 2, because I want to limit this image to the boundaries of that artboard. Everything outside the artboard will not be part of the PSD. So I'll click Export, and now in the Export Options, I'm going to choose Grayscale. And this is important because it has to be a Grayscale PSD. Under the Resolution, you want to keep it high or medium. And you want a flat image. There's no reason that you need layers. That's going to go ahead and export to the folder I designated. And now I can just delete this pattern. I'll show that brown shape again, and go back to my Appearance panel, and click on the Texture effect to edit it. Now when I go to Load Texture, there's the texture that I just saved. I could have named it something else, but the name of my Illustrator document was Texture, and since I used Artboard number 2, the name gets appended with the numeral 02. So I'll go ahead and click Load, and there's my peacock feather pattern. And now, as before, I can invert the texture, I can scale it, and adjust the relief and the lighting. And because this texture is applied to a vector object, I can easily recolor the object without having to redo the texture. Even though there are lots and lots of textures built into the Texturizer panel, it's fun to create your own, and you can do it all without ever leaving Illustrator. 